Time now for the morning rush. State police officers were recently taken by surprise. It's after pulling over a man in Albuquerque and he was wearing nothing but a tank top. This happened last month on I-25 in San Mateo. Matthew Glazer never told police why he was not wearing pants when he was pulled over. He was charged with aggravated fleeing of an officer, speeding and failure to maintain a traffic lane. APD is looking for the man accused of murdering his sister's boyfriend during a 4th of July celebration. According to the court documents, the sister of Francisco Robles told investigators that her brother attacked Javier Gandaria, killing him. Now, Crime Stoppers is offering a reward for information leading to Robles. A diehard Lobo fan may not be renewing his season tickets this after UNM upped the price of a seat. Ted Maez says that UNM told him that one of, for one of the seats, it required an additional fee of $500 that UNM calls a donation. UNM says there are about 100 seats similar to Maez that require that extra fee. Erica. Here's a look at the morning commute forecast. Temperatures are in the low 70s. We'll climb into the mid 70s by the end of the morning commute with hazy skies but dry conditions. If you're fully vaccinated, you may not need an extra COVID-19 booster shot. U.S. health officials met with Pfizer reps yesterday. A spokesperson announced that the fully vaccinated people do not need to get that booster shot. Many experts suggest that a booster shot would only be necessary if hospitalizations and deaths among the vaccinated were to skyrocket. A rare immune system reaction is now prompting another warning on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The FDA added the warning because of links to a rare and dangerous reaction, which causes muscle weakness and sometimes paralysis. Most of the cases were in men ages 50 and up, and they reported it reported it rather about two weeks after their door dose. Erica. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. It is low today. We have a slight chance for an evening shower. Otherwise, it's just going to be a hot and hazy as well as partly cloudy day. Paying traffic tickets just got a little easier here for people in the Metro. Residents can now pay off a ticket at an MVD kiosk inside two Albertson stores. One is at Montgomery and San Mateo. The other is at Wantabo and Candelaria. The kiosks do not accept citations that have to be handled in court. The State Department of Transportation is now warning people about a new text message scam. Scammers pretend to be from the NMDOT and they send out texts that ask you to validate your driver's license. The department says those texts are fake. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. Here's the maps. They are clear all across the metro. And here's a look at Tracker traveling through the Big Eye, where we are starting to see more cars on the road, but we'll let you know when traffic picks up. Well, the Albuquerque Biopark is now getting quite the unexpected surprise. Karen the Hippo is pregnant. What's even more surprising about Karen's pregnancy is that she was on birth control. Hippos are typically pregnant for about seven and a half months before giving birth. Time now for the five facts. At number five, the 34th Festival Flamenco Albuquerque returns this morning with in-person shows. There will be five main stage shows at the National Hispanic Cultural Center and three late night shows at the Tablao Flamenco at Hotel Albuquerque. There is only 50% capacity at the shows. At number four this morning, a diehard Lobo fan may not be renewing his season tickets. It's after UNM up the price of his, one of his seats. Ted Maez says that UNM told him that for one of the seats, it's going to require an additional fee of $500 that UNM calls a donation. He says that's already on top of the $1,500 that he pays for three seats. UNM says that some of the seats have an additional fee, which helps support athletic scholarships. And at number three, we are expecting more storms today, mainly north of I-40 and on the West Mountain high terrain. We're going to be staying pretty dry for the lower Rio Grande Valley and those east and southeast plains. A number two state police officers recently pulled over a man here in Albuquerque and they could not believe what they saw. Now this happened last month on I-25 in San Mateo when police say that Matthew Glazer took them on a seven mile chase. Now when officers were finally able to pull him over, he came out with his hands up but wearing nothing but a tank top. Glazer never said why he was not wearing pants when he was pulled over. He is charged with aggravated fleeing of an officer, speeding and failure to maintain a traffic lane. At number one this morning, Albuquerque police are still looking for the man accused of murdering his sister's boyfriend. That was during a 4th of July celebration. According to court documents, the sister of Francisco Robles told investigators her brother is homeless with a drug problem. And during a family gathering without provocation, Robles attacked Javier Gandaria, killing him. Reports also show that Robles said that he was on the run after killing two people in Mexico where he's from. There's no confirmation on APD as to whether or not he's from there. Crime Stoppers is now offering a reward for information leading to Robles' arrest. If you know anything about the case, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 843-STOP.